pixel. Welcome back to fucking fear. Yeah. Woo. GP. All right. Woo! Too much. Too much energy. <laughs> Me and Alex are back That's... playing some good old original fucking fear to the dot to the E.E.R. Dude. So, uh, Alex is helming the ship now. He's on the on the keyboard and uh, mouse, and I'm sitting and gonna judge him critically. Judge, judge me for who just, I am. Just judge you in my entirety. Really Very harshly. Good. It's gonna be like an average game of Call of Duty. Good, good. Uh, your mother sucks and uh, went to college. No, actually, she. I don't no, think she, she went to college. I took her there. <laughs> Pound Town College. Pound Town. Dude, are you gonna fucking play or are you just gonna sit there? I don't play computer dude. games. God, it took you five days to get there. Dude, you fucking left the armor. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Good job, dude. Got it. Dude, nicely did. Fuck, I'm doing it again already. Yeah, you are. Crap. Now, there's a couple keys you're probably gonna need to figure out. Uh, oh, I heard a sound, dude. No, that a couple was keys me. you're probably gonna need to figure out. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust this volume a little bit, if you don't mind. Sure. It's a little... Ow. A lot loud. I'm pretty sure Q puts you into slow-mo, dude. Yeah, sure dude. Sure does. Okay. So, uh, don't forget to unpress it when you're not using it. Very good. That's a grenade, man! Whoa! Alright, so we're back in fear. Yeah, and we are. This is actually kind of interesting. So, how do I change weapons? Uh, I think I'm the... scroll wheel? There it is. Dude, I, need... <laughs> I forget that you're not a PC gamer. These are, like, not. like pretty, like, basic controls. Pretty basic but... control, dude. Do that? That's uh, yeah. <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't even realize it. <laughs> I know. And the thing is, I didn't either. We recorded like three hours of it, and I listened back. I'm like, we are talking over each other almost constantly. Don't forget your slow-mo, man. Uh, yeah, you have dude. 45 health, dude. I'm gonna fail. <laughs> dude, Thanks, it's, it's all I'm good, dude. Use kit. It's all good. Uh, Z? Oh, man, yeah, I remember all the shit. It's been like three weeks since we recorded last, and I remember dude, it all look still. Look at that. That's pretty crazy, actually. All right. Um, it's also really embarrassing because I just recorded more up. Well, I didn't just, but like the past week or so, I recorded more uh, fucking Dead Space Three Let's Plays. Didn't remember most of those controls. I'm gonna get out. Okay. <laughs> F is flashlight, my man. Oh, uh, no, it's not. F. Beat me uh, down. Try T. T. No, that's to oh, you're talking. Whoa. Uh Press escape. Escape. Uh, try. Uh, Enter. There we go. <laughs> Oh, what is flashlight? I thought we changed it to F. Dude. Oh. Wait, no, I remember we said something about it. He is, uh... You have Fuck, right. wait. Try... G? No, that's grenade. Oh, dude, run! Oh, my run! God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, uh... Well, that's embarrassing. Okay, well, let's what try is it? Oh... V? C? X? X! X. X. Alright! Okay. Wow. G! That's fucking intuitive. What the hell was that sound? I don't know, but it sounded like it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got, the, right. you got the armor this time. Sure did. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of interesting. I've recorded many a Let's Play, but most of the time I'm the one helming, so like this is a... This is an interesting... Interesting experience. Uh, just so you know, if you uh, right-click... You right -click? You'll uh, aim down sights a little bit. Oh. It's not quite Call of Duty, but uh, it'll, it'll get the job done. Dude, you have 16 health, dude. <laughs> dude, wow, I <laughs> suck at don't, these games. Don't forget to, uh, to use, use your slow-mo, slow -mo. man. Yeah. It's pretty vital. Oh, I also... Are we on normal? Think... If it gets too hard, I'm pretty sure we can lower it. What the fuck I is that I hate that thing, thing that always comes out. I don't know. It looks like a, like a dog or something. <laughs> you know those <laughs> electrified dogs an electric... from Zeus. Dude, are you like mindful now of it? Like, trying to be. I, I noticed that like you start and then you stop. Dude, because I know hey, I'm babe. gonna fuck it up. Yeah? <laughs> uh, you got that uh, little slow-mo you want to use? Yeah. Maybe? I'm gonna try it. What is Not that you, It's Q? Q, dude. Well, I can't see. <laughs> Particles for days, my mom. My mom? ADS, dude. Fuck me beautiful. in my ace. What a pro With your I tongue. Am. I cannot stop saying dude. That's your it's not my fault. It's your freaking fault. <laughs> man, I'm, you I'm really gonna die help, again. Dude. I'm really gonna die. Come on, man! <laughs> what is All this? Right, I got it, dude. I promise you this. <laughs> I hate sucking at games, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Games it's actually it's kinda of funny because most of the time you're pretty darn good at it. 
Yeah, that's console bullshit. Yeah, it's true, dude. Mm, good evening. See, you're just not used to actually needing skill without your auto aim. <laughs> yeah, right. Auto aim, <laughs> my head, uh, Auto aim is pretty prevalent in console games, man. Dude, and I can say that because I was primarily a console gamer for fucking ever. It's not until pretty Reese. Witherspoon that I uh Reese Witherspoon <laughs> that I I upgraded to the elitist fucking clan. My mom's an elitist clan. Dude, why are there some words that just have connotations? And maybe I'm blowing this out of more like proportion, uh -huh. but I can't say the word clan without just like immediately thinking terrible. Like, can you be a part of a clan outside of video games that's like? Not racist? Like, is that is that a thing that can happen? I mean, probably. I'm really gonna die again. Come on, man! Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's a health kid again. What is that? Dude, it's fucking Z, Holmes. <laughs> oh, man, I stockpiled all this yeah. shit, and you're gonna throw it straight onto the floor. I should have made a copy of the safe. <laughs> so we can fucking go back. No, no, no. Because this is gonna be great. Dude, I'm gonna fuck these Holmes, assholes. you got full slow-mo. You gotta learn to use it. See that little bar, bottom, middle? Yeah. That's your slow-mo, dude. Completely full. Feel free to use it. Whenever you want. Whenever you want. At I... any point. Even now you could do it. Don't. But you could. Dude, message I... Harlan Ward. I completely it's Harlan forgot Lee. about these fucking... <laughs> Text thing. Dude, it's a, it's a bar. Hey, it's Harlan Wade of Harlan Wade's Harlan Wade. Around. No, it's Chuck Habiger was the one that we had. <laughs> Chuck Habiger's Chuck Habiger. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> one new message from Chuck Habiger. <laughs> hey, Chuck, Chuck Habiger. Habiger. <laughs> what? Armacam Technology Corporation. Wow. Armacam? That sounds ominous. All right, so how do I get up here? Uh, dude, look at know, that. You know, you probably, uh, <laughs> dude, fucking parallax exclusion. You got it. It's funny, because anybody that watches this is probably going to be watching these back-to-back, -back, so they're like, ah, oh, man, they're still making those jokes, but for us, we really haven't made that joke in, like, yeah, in like three, three weeks. weeks. Uh, you're going backwards, Holmes? Just thought I'd let you know. Dude, I don't know how to go forward if I don't go backwards in life. <laughs> well, I, I mean, that's I mean, true. that's a probably pretty bad motto to have. <laughs> I don't know how to progress in my life without making mistakes and going backwards. Oh, here's a door. Something. Yep, that's a door. Good job, Alex. He figured it out. Uh, no. It's a, you're full of grenades. Oh no, never mind. Thing picked it up. No, I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's all good. It's all good, man. Your uh, flashlight's about to die. Oh, it's I didn't good. know that thing actually died. Wow, yeah, what recharges. a realism that is. <laughs> yeah, realism when batteries on flashlights die in four fucking minutes. Oh, man, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, babe. Boom. You're getting it. I'm getting. You're getting it. it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Who let the seven on the seal? <laughs> we can't just keep reusing jokes. We gotta come up with new ones. Dude, frickin' new jokes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we, like, played really further than this. Well, like, it just saved uh, checkpoint. Why'd this go back so far? It's Chuck Abbey. <laughs> How far back did we go? You also left that, uh... Oh, no, we're right here. Never mind. Okay, you left that message in there, dude. Did you go for it? Uh, and, yeah, we, we, we probably already listened to Stop. it, so we probably don't need to, but well, you know what? We'll figure it out. You know the one I see it. See I see it. I see it like all the youngsters do. I what is it? it? YOLO. YOLO. I used to play with a YOLO. I don't think there's actually, a I don't think there's one in here, dude. Is it, was there a room behind you? Like, on the, like, before? I like don't previous? think so, but I thought there was, too. Oh. There it is, dude! It's Chuck Habiger. <laughs> <laughs> it's YOLO's. Right, Rolos. First message Yo from yos. Marshall Disler. Hi, it's Marshall Disler. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in case you weren't aware, Marshall Disler. Marshall Disler here. No. Dude, give me a second. Just grabbing my good old, good old manster. Where you going? Dude, just get my manster. I just said that. Your man, your manster. Dude. Interesting. Dude. Oh, that probably sounds terrible for the auto quality. It's Chuck I'm not even, like, speaking into the, uh... Look at the slow-mo. Holy crap, dude! What is this, the Matrix? Sure is the Matrix. Dude, I got a question for you, my good man. Question Nick. for me, I, I think I maybe have an answer. Uh... So, like, you're you're one of the people that I would consider a, uh... I don't know, what the, a logical realist man, okay. I guess? I don't know, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe you know the... The proper terminology, but you're you're all about like the cosmos and and and, and things oh, and not not too much. Oh, you have one health, shit. man. You have oh, no. I, uh, anyways, I'm yeah. So uh, 
So do you, do you believe in like things like ghosts and spirits and shit, or is that like not on your... Dude. Hey, if there's one thing that I know that clips, we'll get back to that in a second, that's is... opening cans. You ready for this? Keep an eye on that bar. All right, here we go. Almost! Look, look almost. at that slight slobber. It almost, it almost, it almost clipped. He's after the house to it. Um, look at your original question, dude. Uh, I don't necessarily know, to be honest, but if I had to, like, take a little bit of a guesstimation, dude, uh, I don't know. Probably not. Because without getting, like, offensive things, because the internet gets offended over everything. He's throwing a grenade, man. Whoa. <laughs> uh... You used to be a good old religion man, didn't you? I used to be a religion man. So you, you used to. You would classify as used to. You don't. I used you're to. Not, you're not a religi a li not religious. Not these days, no. A religious. No, man. not these days, unfortunately. Well, I guess fortunately and unfortunately. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, you know, it'd be nice to believe that there was something else out there after we die, but <laughs> it just doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I, again, it's one of these things. I usually don't like tiptoeing around things because I don't know I I think people get offended over the stupidest shit and if you can't have a conversation about the opposite of your beliefs then you just need to Dude, anybody who can't have a conversation with the opposite of their beliefs just doesn't want to embrace the opposing side of things well the thing is, is they just they're like convinced that first off you're a fucking heretic yeah. second off that you're trying to convince them that they're wrong or things like that I, I don't know I love when people challenge my my beliefs because it's fucking interesting and exactly. I'm not just like it's intriguing well yeah and I'm not just, like purely narrow minded it's not like I read one time in one place in one person by the wayside that they said this is and I'm gonna believe that without any other proof or any just conversations right. about anything else um but yeah so I don't know um but ghosts though dude I don't know I used to believe in ghosts I don't I don't necessarily know if I do anymore like i'm pretty sure i think you uh need to go back dude i think you left a guy in a room really? <laughs> and i think he was calling for your help uh, <laughs> and i think you just like totally oops. peaced out left him there for dead where is he <laughs> wrong game franchise keep going um but i don't know if that was just like me being like a kid and being like huh, imaginations or whatever but like i don't know i've experienced some weird shit that's like less than explainable i think i think oh, here he is yeah, there he Dude, is. I think, uh, wow, he's beat up. He is. I think uh, there's some things in this world you just can't explain, but, you know, I, I just... Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I've never, like, seen an apparition. Like, I didn't, like, walk out to, like, get a drink at, like, 2 in the morning and there was, like, a ghost, like, staring at me from, like, across the way. It was never anything like that, but it was always, like, one of those things, like, I wonder who made that sound or how did that happen yeah. or, 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 you know, sh shit like that. Um, I think one of the times that I always think back to is my, uh, me and my mom went to an estate sale when I was young. And she's like, yeah, this is an estate sale. And I'm like, what's that mean? She's like, well, that's when the, the owners pass away and they need to, uh, they need to sell off the stuff the because owners, they, uh, you know, you, they need to solve some stuff. And I'm like, right. oh, okay. And I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this as if I was like four. I think you need to go the other way. Um, <laughs> I was probably like 10 or 12. But um, I don't know. It was just one of these things. Like we walked in there and there were some other people there. They were all looking around and stuff. But like as soon as I walked in, I just had this really fucking weird feeling. Like I, I, I guess that's probably a pretty cliche and like, normal way that people say it like it was just like a spirit was with me man but like i don't know it was just i had this you want to not slow mo <laughs> i just had this like feeling like i shouldn't be where i was at like i wasn't wanted where i was where i was currently located and it was just this weird thing and i was feeling that way the entire time we were there and then we got back in the car and or no no sorry i i totally skipped part of the, the important part oh my god um we were wandering around, and I'm just, like, looking at my mom and looking around, and she's looking at me and looking around. She's like, you want to go? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, okay. And we left. Like, we were only in there for a little bit. Oh, you're getting punched, man. Um, but we got into the car, and I'm like, man, I just, I don't know what it was about that mom, but I just did not feel comfortable in there. And then she looked at me, and she said, you felt that, too. And I was like, okay, well, that's fucking Dude, that's creepy. Fucking like, weird, that's a weird thing. Like, I thought I was just being, like, this little kid that's, like, afraid of fucking ghosts and in the dark but she was like right. yeah no I felt that too and I'm like well I don't know what that means that's a heavy dude he needs to lose weight <laughs> dude did you lose weight <laughs> did you lose weight um 
So yeah, like I've never like seen a ghost. Like I've heard stories, and my parents, my parents are are firm believers in in ghosts and things like that. They're also very religious and and things like that. I'm like the infidel son that like doesn't believe in in a dude. I haven't really a bro. god, and I'm not like I want to die. Oh I'm man, you, <laughs> dude, you want to slow mo and get out of there? <laughs> what a shithole, <laughs> man. I think you died more in, like, this first episode than we did, like... The entire time. You're probably right. <laughs> multiplied. <laughs> like, I think we only died, like... Well, probably only one, a couple times. You um, pro, but... But, yeah, they're super into that that stuff. They're really into, like, the yeah, whole, just... like, ghost thing. Like, they're they're convinced, like... So is my brother. He, like, tells stories about how his his... Like, he'd wake up to what he thought was his mom, like, saying, Come on, sweetie, you're gonna be late for... Wow! What? what? Did you just explode? What type of bullets you got in that thing? Um, it's explosive rounds is the answer. Um, oh. uh, yeah, but like she like wake up, sweetie, you gotta get ready for school. And he would like all right. get all the way up and and literally walk to the end of the driveway to like get picked up on the bus and then realize it was like Saturday. So he he's he's convinced. My sister, I think, is more in the lines of us where she's not. Super believing of uh, of supernatural and, yeah, and spiritual kind of things, things, but she says that she's seen ghosts and shit. So it's just funny because we're playing this game. <clears throat> wow, the lights flickered from that grenade. That's a that's, that's a cool fucking little detail. That's a really cool detail. Um, I'm gonna kill him, dude. But yeah, we're playing this like supernatural game about like ghosts and shit. So I was just curious, curious what your thoughts were. Oh, you got it, man. I've seen improvement, baby. High fizzle. High fizzle, my nizzle. That was a terrible fight. Let's do a better one. Dude, here we go. Oh, that was a joke, I see. That was a good one. Oh, Ooh. you- Dude, you're shooting Janston. Sorry about that. Dude, but yeah, I, honestly, like, I don't know, like- Have you ever, of... like, have you ever had anything that you, like, might be able to construe as, like, a supernatural experience, or has your life been pretty vanilla? Yeah, there was, like, um, there was one- there was one time I was just in my house or whatever, and I, like, went upstairs for some reason to go to the bathroom, and, uh, went downstairs to turn off the light, like, turn off the hallway light, but, like, the light upstairs was on, and I didn't turn it on. I was like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> that's a weird thing. But, and then, like, I saw this, like, the shadowy figure, like, travel across the way. Like, cross, like, from one side of the hallway to the other. And I was like, what the frick? But, then again, I'm also pretty convinced that our minds have a lot of ways to, uh... Um, trick trick us into uh, into thinking. Well, I mean, just reality. to not dig this up, because I'm sick of fucking hearing it, but a prime example is that stupid fucking dress. That everybody's, yeah. like, f losing their minds over, oh like, God. people are seeing... Like, it's literally the same object, but two people are looking at it and drawing 100% different con conclusions. Right. If that doesn't say, like, just the human condition, then I don't know what does. Like, an example. Me and my friend Jared, he is one of the most, like, devout Christians I've ever... I've ever heard. He sees something that's like kind of unexplainable. He thinks, you know, divine intervention. I think that it was just, you know, crazy coincidence. Um, but it's the same thing. It's literally that exact same type of thing where yeah. two, two people are looking at the exact same situation but drawing 100% completely different conclusions. Oh, man. I agree, Dude, though. Dude, speaking of spirits, speaking of spirits. I, almost, I, I thought I almost saw a ghost once, but then I realized it was just my pasty white ass in the, in the reflection. <laughs> Investigate cause of fire alarm. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. I don't. I don't know. I. I have a couple things that I would. I would. I guess you could construe as like supernatural experiences. Um. One of them was. I was. I was young. And it was back when I was actually into reading. Um. Before like I got sick of it because of my ADHD. Um. But. I was I was reading a book down in my room and I was living in the basement and my parents had this it's, I mean it's it's kind of sounds silly but it was pretty practical <laughs> wherever they needed me they'd literally just stomp on the floor three times and I could hear it through the fucking floor because our house is old and shitty right um and then I would know okay that means they want me to come up for whatever reason so um oh it's getting creepy I didn't want to I didn't want to postpone my story Am I? Is there anything? Oh, dude. Uh -huh. You're sizzling. Whoa! Oh! Holy shit. Oh, oh dude. Holy dude, are you going to look at me? Dude, what the? Oh, oh my gosh. Holy She's coming right at holy you, Holmes. Holy shit, that really is scary. <laughs> She's fucking with your mind, dude. 
<laughs> I definitely didn't know that was happening and didn't stop my story to see that. Um, I didn't. I promise. Yeah, I'm a liar. you did. Um, anywho, try use this. Let me finish my story before we get the end of this episode. Uh, I was down there downstairs reading my book, you know, whatever, and I had I had I was lying on my bed and I was reading, and um, they stomped on the floor for dinner, and I'm like, okay. And I take my book, and I look at the page number, and I remember, I still even, like, to this day, remember the page number. It was, like, fucking 57. And I put the, uh, the, the bookmark in it, and I took it, and I closed it, and I put it on my bed. Like, in the center of the bed, there's no way it would have moved. Went up for dinner, and then when I came back down, the book was open. Like, straight up open, right on my, on my bed, not on the floor, didn't fall off or anything. It was completely open, and the bookmark was across the room. And I was like, that's weird. Uh, that doesn't just happen, but like, I don't know. I mean, something had to have happened. It could have been my brother moved in on accident, maybe, or a dog jumped on the bed. I don't know. Some, I mean, <laughs> the thing is, is to me, when I when I think about situations like that, is is, is it more likely... That a ghost opened the book and threw the bookmark, or that something logical happened. Like I'm not trying to say like that it's illogical to think that. If you you know believe that, then that's 100 percent logical to you. But for the way my brain is, that that doesn't add up in in my head. Logically, yeah. Um, dude, how do I do this? Dude, okay, turn around. Dude, yeah. Look up. Yeah. To your right. Yeah. See that? Yeah. I'm gonna go through there. <laughs> dude, you can't just aspire man the wall, dude. You gotta find a way to climb up. Dude, how did you know that? Dude, uh, logic. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it is pretty logical. Dude. It's only logical. Dude, yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily uh, know what to. But the the other the other experience, that I think this is an interesting story. A lot of people are gonna say like I'm full of shit, but probably are. Um, <laughs> you know. I don't know. Again, like I said, I'm not saying, like, these were supernatural experiences and all of you guys know need to know that they were. What the fuck happened to that guy? He got killed, though. Okay, you just missed a jump scare, by the way. <laughs> uh, not that I knew there was a jump scare there. Uh, when what? you look at the body and you go towards the edge, another body falls down right in front of you and hits the thing oh, down there. Well. Uh, again, didn't know that or anything. Um... But yeah, it, it was one of these things where me and my brother, this was back when like Guitar Hero was a thing, which I, I say as if that was a long time ago, it wasn't that long, a handful of years ago. Um, and we were downstairs playing some fucking expert guitars, like just me and him playing in the basement in like middle of the night and shit. Oh my gosh, dude, you almost went straight off that I cliff. You seriously almost fucking just that? suicided. I was getting some fucking extreme Inception flashbacks of <laughs> of you just leaping like that red dressed bitch. Um, I'm, it's actually, dude, no, what was that? Oh, you had to um, jump over there, dude. <laughs> but we're in our basement. Our basement's cold. We, you know, it's fucking. It's it's a cliche basement. It's cold. It's dark. It's moist. It's creepy. And we're playing uh, at the, the far end of the basement, playing guitar, just like shredding it up. And we were playing professional mode, you know, whatever. So we couldn't stop without like risk of oh, fucking up. And uh, we're just like playing the song. And then I was just like got this like weird ass chill. Like just these, like, I don't know. It's It was like this weird chill and then this like feeling of being watched. This episode's gonna go a little longer. Um, and this feeling of being watched. And like, I, I thought it'd be funny to say something to my brother. I'm like, man, I just got a weird chill. It's like we're being watched. He's like, no fucking way. And I'm like, what? And he's like, look at my neck. And the hairs on his neck were standing up. So he had the same fucking chill that I did. And I'm like, uh-oh, that's creepy. And he's like, yeah, it is a little bit. And I'm like, well, if there's a ghost down here, you better fuck off, ghost, because we're, ex we're fucking mastering this expert thing. If you want to fuck with me, you should fuck off. Like, being like a total dick towards... Whatever, towards whatever towards. entity was there, and again, just to reiterate, the, none of this is bullshit. This is exactly how it fucking happened. Within like ten seconds of saying that, it felt as if like something grabbed the hold of my stomach. Not like physically grabbed it, but like it felt like I got punched in the gut. Essentially, is what it felt like, and I got really nauseous all of a sudden. And then, within like twenty seconds. 
I had to just put the controller down. We ended up fucking failing the song, and I just threw up all over the floor. Dude. And I was, like, freaking out, because I'm like, that was really weird. Like, I just went from completely fine to I'm <laughs> fucking vomiting right now. Just That's insane. Conveniently after mocking this, uh, this entity, if it exists. Now, again, to look at that same, you know, situation and, and draw two different conclusions, one... It could have been a spirit, or two, I could have just been sick, and it was just really weird, you know, again, coincidental timing, yeah. which people who think it's a spirit will just say, well, well it's fucking I convenient that you fucking think that it's a coincidence. Yeah, and that's... Again, I'm not judging anybody. Like I said, I, I categorize it as something that could be construed as spirit, as like a spirit or a ghost thing. I don't necessarily know if I believe that it was, Dude, that's... but uh, on that note, that is the end of this episode. So if you would like to uh, give it a little pause here while we do our little outro. Uh, Thank you guys. Escape? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm GP. I'm AR. (laughs) Assault Rifle. Assault Rifle. (laughs) AR-15. Good old old Al Rude. (laughs) And uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a like. If you want more content like this. Feel free to subscribe and join the resolution. I don't know if I told you about the resolution. that. Resolution. Get it? Because I'm a pixel. <laughs> Not fucking funny. That's pretty. That's clever. That's, it's that's pretty good. painful. Pretty painful, pretty but painful. it's clever. Hopefully, everybody um, picks up on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just explained it. So now, if they well, didn't, they know. If they don't. <laughs> and uh, it got derailed. Subscribe if you want to. Jo- if you like more content like this, and please, if you uh, are feeling inclined, send this to your friends. Get get these videos out to people. Spread the word. So. Wait, you mean you want me to... Oh, I'm people? just telling the people. Oh, yeah, like the people. <laughs> Dude, believe it or not, it's not just you and me listening right now. Wait, to, to the people watching. Uh, if they if they liked it and they think that they know people who uh, would also like it, please feel free to send it to your friends and get the word out there. On that note, again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. GP. AR. And we'll see you guys in the next one. First-person shooters on PCs are point-and-click adventure games. Think about that. Dude, what? I can't think. I'm dead. (laughs) Think about that. You literally point, then you click, and that person dies, and then you move to the next room. It's a fucking point-and-click game. I guess it is. Isn't that crazy bullshit? I'm like, ah, yeah, it's a first-person shooter. No, you're pointing and clicking. That's all you're doing. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, son, it's called masturbation.